Where haven't I looked? Well, I didn't look in the desk. I thought it was too obvious. But then again, Vicky is so obvious. <gasps> Ow! Bingo! Bingo. <sighs> Looking Slow. for something, Dorian? Or have you found it? I want an answer. What are you doing in Vicky's house with no one around? Stop acting as if you own the place. I'm waiting for Vicky or anybody else to show up. And I stopped by to congratulate the family. I just got the news about Kevin being cleared. Amazing, isn't it? Marty Saybrook finally telling the truth. I almost stopped the presses being such a fan as I am of the truth in courtrooms and biographies. That's what you have behind your back. My book about Victor Lord. You offered Vicky the chance to read the book before publication. Why didn't you give me the same courtesy? Vicky happens to be the daughter of the man I wrote about. And I happen to be his widow. You know, I could have made this project very difficult for you, but it didn't. I gave you unlimited interviews. There were I gave no you interviews. Victor, I gave you access to Victor's papers. You Victor's volunteered photographs. the papers with no pre publication. Because approval. I made certain assumptions, Sloan. I. I assumed that you would be fair and unbiased. Well, I tried my best, but I know you, Dorian. If there's one paragraph that ruffles your feathers, you'll try to block publication. And what's in this book that I would find ruffling? Hmm? Give me the book. I thought you said there was nothing in it that would bother me. There shouldn't be. I simply mm -hmm. presented facts of which you're well aware. Like you're being fired from your position at the hospital because of the death of a patient. Now, there's a happy time in my life. Thanks. Oh. You bounce back. You successfully treat Victor Lord for his medical problems. You eventually even marry him. Much to the consternation of his family. Did you mention that? I simply touch on the ways in which you seem to have influenced him. There were an awful lot of vicious rumors about me at the time. Did you see fit to include them in the name of exhaustive scholarship? John Carpenter. Joey, what's the matter? You're breathing hard. Oh, I came to get some books so they, to read to the kids when they won't, so they won't panic when the rescue squad tries to get them. What kids? What rescue squad? You didn't tell them? I didn't want him to worry. Tell me what? What's going on? CJ and his friend Al Holden, uh, Max's son, they fell down a sinkhole or something at oh, Serenity no. Springs. And you kept this to yourself? I... Is your mother there? Yeah. All right, Joey, find the books. I'll meet you there. Go find the okay. books. Okay. I don't think you should stay here. I'm not a stranger here. This used to be my home, you know. Of course, you know, you wrote the book. Yes, give me the book. No. Take it. Sloan, I've got a great idea. Why don't we both go see Vicky together? Coming. That's the latest word on the... Al's arm. Uh, he's stuck. Oh. Hey, Horace, oh, what's slow? up? I don't want to be in anyone's way. Is there anything I can do to help? Oh, actually, the rescue people could use every hand they can get out right. there. I'll see you later. Thank oh, you. tell Tina I'll be there in a minute. Yes. What? I, I need to talk to you for a second. Sure. Uh, Vicky, what's actually, wrong? so do I. Or believe me, I wouldn't be bothering you at a time like this. Well, what is it then? I simply have to know how I'm portrayed in that book that Sloan has written about Victor. Please. Doesn't it penetrate even your complete and utter self-absorption that two children's lives are in danger? Vicky, that's what I need to talk to you about. Look Why? at this. What, what's this? Right. Vicky, Vicky, this is Lou Robbins. He's taking over the rescue operation. Oh. We're going to do whatever we have to to get those boys out. Great. Okay, Vicky, take a look at this. What is it? Uh, this is a map of the old sewer system that's under this part of Landview. All right, now, this particular tunnel runs right under Landfair, and it dead ends here a couple of yards away from where the boys are right now. Now, we think we can get to them if we can access this tunnel, and we can at this point right here. Now, this is the part that's under Landfair. Now, do you know where that room is right there, that place? Um, well, it, it appears to be right under the um, secret room that my father built. Then we can get to the tunnel through there. No, we cannot. The whole room is sealed off, Max. The entranceway was blasted closed when the... And the room was bombed a few years ago. Can we blast it open again? This is Landfair we're talking about, right? Yes, it's my family home. I remember going out there when you had that big explosion in the basement. 
And you had a fire there, bad fire, about a year or so ago, right? Yes, that's right. Well, both the previous explosion and the fire, they weakened the foundation pretty badly. In fact, after the fire was out, our engineer was pretty amazed that the place was still standing. So now you want to set off another explosion and blast your way into the underground room. We have to. It's the only way we can get to our kids. Well, the odds are pretty good. If you set off another blast, that foundation's going to collapse. And the whole place is going to come down like a house of cards. Yes, but if blasting is the only way we can get to the children, then we have to do it. I mean, the house doesn't matter. But if land fair collapses, then it could block the tunnel forever. Not if we move in fast enough, right after the blast. Land fair used to be my home once. I, I don't want to lose it again. It's the lady's decision. Vicky, really, are you sure about this? Dorian. Yes, of course I am absolutely sure. Land fair has been my home almost as long as I've been alive. I would not hesitate to give it up. Forever, in a second. If it means that we can save the children. Mm -hmm.